Okay, welcome to Granddad's the Kitchen once again. Good morning. Okay, we're gonna have to wash this spoon to use it. Yeah. Right welcome to Granddad. We're doing some curry lamb. Yeah. So in here we have our curry powder. We have some whole cloves. We have some all-purpose seasoning. A teaspoon of mixed spice. We've got an onion there. We're gonna about to cut up and put in there. Okay, I'll carry on from where I left off. The other um, seasoning I was going to talk about was turmeric, yeah? So that's in there now, right? Our onions we've cut up in large chunks. We've got two bits of scotch bonnet. Well, that was like a three quarters of a cost bonnet. On top of it, listen, let me make it easy on myself. Here, we have some scotch bonnet, yeah? I buy it on the market. No, I didn't. I buy it in the supermarket, wherever I got them from, yeah? Now, if you ain't going to use your scotch bonnet, it doesn't really make sense buying these because I messed up. Yeah, I bought a load of them. 50 pence, I thought. 50 pence, ah, that's not nothing. But look, 40, 5 pence out of 50 is going straight in the bin because you see these bits in here where it starts to turn and thing. People might say, cut it out, cut it out, right, and blah, blah, blah. I don't like it, so you know what? Done it. This one, I cut the top off with a bad bit, look. The rest of it, mm, clean it, wash it and everything, yeah? Anyway, here we have some onions cut up in large chunks. Because what we're going to do, we're going to put those in here, but we're going to take them back out before we brown off our, ch our ch ch garlic. I've got a couple of cloves here. We're going to just smash those. Leave everything large because you don't want to fry everything. Otherwise, it will just burn before it because we're going to try and brown a little get a little color on our meat before we put everything else in and mix it make everything just mellow down yeah so we're going to do now chuck this lot in there give it a good massage into the meat cover it up stick it in the fridge leave it for minimum half hour i'm going out so i'm just going to chuck it mix it all up don't forget you see talk too much i'm not pay attention over here I have my salt, yeah. Don't go too mad on your salt because the seasonings are quite powerful. And you have your black pepper. Now the black pepper is not necessarily for the heat, though you do get some heat from it, but it's for the flavor. So we have a bit of both combination, yeah. So we're gonna put this all together, chuck it all in the fridge, and the next time you talk to us. Okay, take for example, see this onion? Oh, it look how kind of shrivel up and thing. This has been cut and left in the fridge, yeah? It's all right, it's good, yeah? But if you look at this one, it look nice and fresh because you just unpeel it and just cut it. If you're spending your money to eat food, eat good food. Don't buy foolishness just because it's cheap, yeah? No, no strength in it. You and I get no strength out of it. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute, right? There we go. Now, when you're seasoning it, you should get that aroma. Oh my days, that is, oh. Anyway, we're gonna put our lid on there. <coughs> we're gonna put that in the fridge. Till we come back, we're going the road, yeah? So we're gonna go out the road. We come back, maybe hours, whatever time we finish off, yeah? So in the meantime, see you soon. Okay, people, we're back, right. In here, we've got some oil, yeah? As you can see, it's sizzling a little bit there. We've had some turmeric and some curry powder, yeah? Here's our meat. We've taken off all the big bits we can find. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put them in there. Just basically, there you go. If you can see any big bits of um, seasoning on it, just take it off, because you don't want it to burn. But I'll tell you what, before we do that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our um, scotch bonnet in there and we're just gonna leave that in there you hear that yeah spin that around a couple of times yeah don't want to let it burn but if you don't want pull it off the fire yeah give that a couple of so I don't know me. Curried lamb, I said, didn't it? Yeah. There we go. So now we take our scotch bonnet out. 
because later on we're going to taste and if need be we could always add it back but we don't want to get a pot of fire yeah so we'll take that out you can already smell the aroma so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these put them in there and I'll get back to you all right okay here we go again a couple of things I want to mention here now this is what we call a Dutch pot yeah it's come from Jamaica you got different style you can see there again yeah when you're using this one remember that handle I tend to forget and get burned by the thing all the time so same with the lid yeah remember to use that <laughs> I should have done it I should have done it I say go yeah anyway the window opens uh, I don't like opening the window because the people just share yeah, let's soon some start begging me up anyhow yeah you see when you put your meat in these things if you cook it on an electric stove like I am for example when you turn it down it take a while for the heat to go down yeah just dry it off the fire yeah so you hear it's going down already yeah put it back on yeah yeah now when we put our meat in we put our meat in and we gave it about five ten minutes no 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 long time yeah while that is taking its time doing what it's doing we put our kettle boil put the water in here just to wash out the seasoning yeah so we're gonna do that we're gonna pour this in and we're gonna pour all this in but before we put the scotch bonnet pepper in we're not gonna put the pepper in until we taste if it's too hot already or if it's hot already don't put it in if it's not hot enough for you put it in and keep checking on it yeah once you put everything together taste it's all about the taste so taste it make sure it's what you're looking for that you've got enough salt anything you may want to add you can add but you can still add within the last five minutes or so yeah so what we're gonna do now because this is just coming back up to temperature because i turned it down because my ring went funny and i had to go get some eh stop stop it stop it it's 20 stop it okay let me talk speak to you properly my camera got filled up memory was filled so i had to go and erase the camera transfer the camera to the video transfer everything from the camera to the laptop now i'm back <laughs> sorry for raising my voice and not no pick me anyway well i'm gonna put all this in there now yeah so here we go okay, this is where we're at now as you can see i've filled the full fill fill full whatever the pot near enough covering all the meat yeah that's why we keep our kettle on hot yeah we come over here we have some uh, sweet potato some baby potatoes and some pumpkin couple of reasons why I'm doing this the main reason is to thicken it yeah so now if you add no corn flour nothing to make the gravy nice yeah and next reason sweet potato just buy potato did I feel while pumpkin if I don't use it it quite spoil I mean nah no, that's she will me buy it yeah so I've tasted it tastes cool so far and I haven't tasted the pepper so I might put it in later but I'm putting in these early because I want it all to mash right out to nothing yeah so all we're gonna be getting is just the flavor and no big bits of nothing should be in there but if it is it's no big deal this is how I do my curry good yeah so I'll just stir that fire on medium high no medium low minimum halfway yeah halfway through so it just a simmer it's not boiling its head off and you're gonna need to cook this for about as long as it takes the meat for ready yeah so you just keep testing and checking yeah so get about half hour 45 minutes then you come back and check yeah potato corn whatever it is i put in there i can't remember sweet potato potato and pumpkin that should all mash out to nothing onion same thing we will mash out very the onion might not go out to nothing but it will get soft yeah so we're gonna leave that now on a medium heat and let it just go on and do what it's doing 
yeah but while i'm doing this i'm just gonna tell you a little story yeah don't listen to people or what they say if you cook it try it, yeah if you're not nice next time whatever in there that you don't like the taste of don't put it back oh see we forget to put a little time in it so i'm gonna go and add that and in the meantime i do that anyway look <laughs> you see we just chop my one thing to the other oh my gosh listen you see when you're cooking food don't think so listen i cook monks the best and i'm better than most of the rest yeah you see like when you have a girl yeah and you first meet her and she said put it there sir she like it there put it there sir it's when you're cooking your food and you taste it and you like that leave it in a no business when nobody wants it and you are eat it just so you go yeah and there it is ladies and gentlemen our curry got lamb and rice there it is ladies and gentlemen our curry lamb and rice and as you can see oh my days oh my <laughs> listen right i take out one little piece with tears and there it is the next little piece then the next little piece at this stage you can add well you should have tears sure this is why we dish up curry goat rice with a slice of ardo bread because you see this so your ardo bread come in mm. good gracious me yes yeah, so we have our chicken from last night just make some great <laughs> okay oh father stop me so back here so we have a liquid chair yeah till next time yeah later okay it's quite late now but anyway don't matter to you the time the rest of my curry yeah i come in put it on let that go and start warm the, sorry i took the what i needed out of it put it in a container put it in the fridge this is what's left over i'm gonna eat this now yeah so i've done i've come in i've put some pasta on yeah just your ordinary everyday pasta where is it yeah just put some of that on yeah a little bit of salt in there for taste now it's kind of al dente style maybe just a little bit past that this is warming up i'm going to take this out of here put it in there mix it up get all them juices around the pot mix up in there and then i'll show you all right there it is ladies and gentlemen <laughs> listen let me try what it done is lit this is what granddad called is curry good pasta you hear that curry good pasta why not italian of pasta carbonara yeah but the next thing listen you see if you're my wife cooking a dutch and she leaves the dutch and she leave your food in it it's cash you want to know what time you're coming listen to this you see just that food that she wake up yes okay people take it easy yes support the cause it's just because